Hello friends, uh, welcome to Learners Planet. Friends, this is our third session for real functions. In the previous session, we have discussed about uh, intervals, uh, like uh, bounded and unbounded intervals. We discussed closed, open and open, closed, closed, open intervals. In this session, we'll be starting with the topic function. So let's begin with the session and uh, we discuss the definition of functions. Now let's see what is a function. The term function is used to define the dependency of one physical quantity on another. For example, consider volume of sphere which is V is equal to 4 upon 3 pi r cube. Here r is radius. 4 by 3 is absolute constant, pi is absolute constant and r is a variable. And V is the volume of this um, sphere. Right? Now here what is happening? The value of this volume depends upon the value of r. That is radius of this uh, sphere. Right? So, what we can uh, uh, say that V is a function of R. That means V is equal to F of R. Right? Value of volume depends upon value of R or we can say value of V depends upon value of R. Okay? So, V is a function of R. It is represented and as in this manner. Okay? Or what we can write is v is equal to f of r that means v is function of r and both of them are equal to 4 upon 3 pi r cube okay and here r is uh, independent variable and v or f r what we can say these are dependent variables okay now friends let's discuss the definition of functions Suppose A and B are non-empty sets. F is a relation which associates each element of set A with unique element of set B. Then F is called a function from A to B. Now friends, listen to me very carefully because the definition of function is really very important. right? It is denoted as F such that A to B. Now I have two sets. I have represented the sets uh, by these circles. So suppose this is the set A and this is the set B. Now I have uh, some elements in this set maybe A, B and C, right? And I have some elements in this set in fact it is 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now if we have to represent a set, I'm sorry a function from A to B that means each element of A that is this circle, each element of this set should have, uh, should be associated with one element of this set. Okay, that means suppose A is associated with the 1, B is associated with 2 and C is also associated with 2, right? So, in this case, it is a function from A to B. But if in any case, suppose there is, one, uh, there is one extra element that is D. If we don't have any image for D or we can say D is not associated to any element in B, then this won't be a function. Okay. So, if it is not there, it's a function. If it is there, it's uh, not a function. Okay. I just take two, three examples over here. Suppose I have elements maybe 2, 4 and 3. Here I am having 4, 16, 9, 25, right? And the function is defined as maybe square of all these numbers. Now, square of 2 exists over here. So, 2 is related to 4. Square of 4 exists over here. So, 4 is related to 16. Square of 3, 9. That's related to 9. So, that's 3 is associated with 9, 4 is associated with 16 and 2 is associated with 4. Or I can say um, 2's image is 4, 4's image is 16 and 3's image is 9. That means every element of set A or this set is having a, an image in set B, right? And none of the elements should have more than one images, right? If 2 is associated with any other number as well, then it, uh, still it will not be a function. Right. So, there are two conditions that the, the condition first is each and every element of set A should have an image in set B and each and every element should have a unique image in set B. Right. So, I suppose I have over now maybe here number say 7. Now, it won't be a function now because we don't have image of 7 over here. Right. 
image of 2 is 4, image of 4 is 16, image of 3 is 9, that means image of 7 must be 49, which is not there in this set. So, it will not be a function, okay. But I, if I have minus 2 over here, then image of minus 2 will also be 4. In this case, it is a function, right? More than one element from set A can have the same image, but one element from set A cannot have two images in set B. Okay, be very clear about um, the definition of functions. So, I just read the definition of function once again. Let A and B non-empty sets and F is a relation which associate each element of set A with unique element that is very important, unique element of set B and each element of set A, okay, each element of set A with unique element of set B, then F is called from, uh, called the functions from A to B, okay. We will be taking more examples for better clarity. As of now, let us discuss some other terms related to functions. Now, first, let's discuss uh, other uh, terminologies over here. Uh, suppose I have a set, say, x, an element uh, belongs from x is maybe 1, 2, 3, 4, and uh, f of x is equal to x square. This is the relation that we have to, that we are given, right? That means in this set, the elements will be 1, 2, 3, 4. Right? In this set, the elements will be 1, 4, 9, 16. Right? That means 1 is associated with 1, 2 is associated with 4, 3 is associated with 9, 4 is associated with 16. Right? 1 related to 1, 2 related to 4, 3 related to 9 and 4 related to 4 is related to 16. Okay. Now, what happens over here? All the elements which are part of this set are known as domain of the function. Okay, that's very important. Domain of the function. And all the elements of this set are known as codomain. Or we can uh, represent this set as codomain. Okay. Now, in this case, we don't have any extra elements. Uh, all the elements are having pre-images. See, image of 1 is 1. Image of 2 is 4. So, we can say image of uh, sorry, pre-image of 4 is 2, pre-image of 9 is 3, pre-image of 16 is 4. So, we don't have any elements extra over here, right? So, I take one example where there are extra elements. Just wait a moment. So, set A, set B. Now, I have some elements over here, maybe 2, minus 2, 3, 4. And here, I am having 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 26, 36, right? Now, the function is same. Uh, we have to find out the square. fx is equal to x square is the relation. Okay. So, 2 is related to 4. Minus 2 is also related to 4. 3 is related to, related to 9 and 4 is related to 16, right? So, domain of this function is what? 2 minus, I'm sorry, minus 2, 2, 3 and 4, right? Domain is minus 2, 2, 3 and 4, right? And all the elements in this set are part of codomain. So, codomain is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, and 36. And the third term over here is range, right? Range is only the elements, they have the pre-images. Here, we have the pre-images for 4, 9 and 16, right? For other elements, you can see 1, 36, 25 and 26. They don't have any pre-images, right? That means they are not associated with any elements of set A, right? So, we have to drop these elements and we have to take uh, uh, 4, 9 and 16 into consideration. Right? So, range of this function is what? 4, 9 and 16. In other ways, uh, we can say that the elements which are having pre-images, they will be part of range. Okay? So, domain, all the elements of uh, this circle or this set and uh, codomain, all the elements of this set and range, the elements which are having the pre-images. Okay? 
So I hope you are clear with the definition of domain range and codomain. In the case we have discussed just now, set A is called the domain of uh, F, set B is the codomain of F, a set of the images is called the range of the function. Range could be, could be a subset of codomain, right? So that is Fx is subset of B, right? Now here, just read out these two things, though I have already discussed it with you. A mapping f x to y is said to be a function if each element, you have to be careful, each element of set x has its image in set y, right? It is possible that there are few elements in set y which are not the images of any elements of set x, right? So that shows the difference between codomain and range, right? So uh, it will be a function if each element is having an image in um, set y. And the next important thing uh, to be a function is every element in set x should have one and one only one image. Right? That means it is impossible to have more than one image for a specific ele element in set Y. Right? Just show you once again over here. Suppose here 4, 9, 16 and here I am having the elements minus 2, 2, 3 and 4. Right? Now fx is square root of x. That means um, 16 is associated with 4, 9 is associated with 3, but 4 is associated with minus 2 and 2 both as well, right? Because square root of 4 will be minus 2 or 2, right? So, we have two images for 4, right? In that, in this case, it is not a function. Because every element of this set should have an image over here and the image should be unique. But in this case, 4 is having two images, minus 2 and 2. So, it won't be a function. Okay. So, I hope uh, now you must be clear about the definition of function. I just take few examples over here. Now, here we take one by one case. Each element of this set ABC has uh, image in set Y. A is associated with 2. B is uh, associated with 3 and C is associated with 5. Right. There is no extra element in this uh, set. So, it is a function. In this case, A, B, C, all of them are having images in the this set. A is also associated with 2, B is also associated with 2 and C is also associated but with 2. But all of them are having images in set Y, right? So, this is also a function. In this case, you can very well say that C does not have any image in set Y, right? That means we have one extra element in set X which does not have any image in set Y. So, it is not a function, right? Similarly, in this case, we can very well see that A is having two images. That is, A is related to 2 and A is related to 3, right? But in according to the definition of function, no element of set X can have more than one images in set Y. So, if A is having two images, 2 and 3, that means this relation is not a function. It is just a relation, but this relation is not a function. Okay. So, here we can see the two examples of functions and two examples of not functions. Okay. Now, friends, suppose we are given graphs, right? Now, by just looking at the graph, how would we come to know whether the given graph is this of a function or not, right? So, just listen to me carefully. If we draw a vertical line which cuts the given curve at more than one point, then the given relation is not a function. And when this vertical lines parallel to y axis cuts a curve at only one point, then it is a function, right? Here we can see I have dropped, uh, drawn a vertical line over here, but this vertical line is intersecting this curve at two points. One is this and one is this, right? That means for a single value of x, right? A single value of x, there are two values of y. Getting my point? This point is associated with this also and with this also, right? Suppose this is 4 and this is 2 and this is minus 2, right? So, this point is associated with this also and this also. But according to the definition of function, Every element of set A should have an, a unique image in set B. But this element is having two images. Similarly, various other elements, right? The, for this value of x, we have two values of y. 
for this value of x we have two values of y so this is not a function similarly we can see over here for this value of x we have one two three four values of y that means n element of x maybe it is a it is associated with the four elements of y okay so this is also against the definition of function so it doesn't represent any function it doesn't represent any function but if we see over here in this graph we can if we drop a vertical line you can see that this line is intersecting x x uh, this uh, this curve only at one point that means for this value of x we just have this value of y right that means every element of set x or set a whatever is uh, having a unique image in set b right every element you can see you can drop as many lines as you want but you'll be having for this value of x this is the value of y this value of x this is a value of y so every element is having a unique value right because there is no other part of this graph similarly in this case if you drop a vertical line it will intersect this curve only at one point okay so for this value of x this is the value of y for this value of x this is the value of y this value of x this is the value of y right so for every element of x we have a unique image in this set right a b c p q r s a is associated with b, uh, p b is associated with q c is associated with r right so the both of them are functions now i hope you must be clear about the definition of function and how would you come to know by a graph that uh, whether the given graph is it of, uh, of a function or not. You just have to go for a vertical line test. If the vertical line cuts the graph at two points, then the more than one points, then it is not a function. If the vertical line uh, cuts the graph only at one point, then it shows a function. Okay, friends. So friends, in this session, we have discussed the definition of functions in detail and I'm sure you'll be clear with the definition of function. In next session, we'll be taking some problems based on definition of function and we'll try to find out whether the given graphs and relations are functions or not, right? So, I'll see you in the next session. Bye-bye.